So I'm Sue McGraw um, and I'm the Chief Executive of St John's Hospice, North Lancashire and South Lakes and we look after patients who are approaching the end of life. Uh, usually the patients are over 18 but sometimes we, we can be looking after families and children as well. So we've been to a few events as the Health Innovation Campus was preparing to open um, and we just met a few people, made a few contacts. I'd been studying at the university so I kind of knew a few people who were involved up here. Um, Originally, um, we weren't thinking about an app because that kind of wasn't in our frame of reference at all. All we knew was that when people die, um, it's the people who are left behind who need to make those memories. And we have a very traditional ward where each room has a TV and we'd encourage people to bring in their tech if they wanted to. But we noticed more and more that people um, were quite interested in the idea of reminiscence in the hospice. And, and no more so than when you know that someone you really care for deeply isn't going to be around for much longer. Those memories really matter. So we were looking for a way, initially we thought just to digitise people's photographs. You know, people, the, the kind of generation we intend to look after, have a box of old photographs that no one's ever written on the back of. And when they die, those memories die with them. So we're just kind of on the cusp of having um, an app that we've called the Memory Maker app, which is so much more than just digitising a box of photographs. It gives people the chance to come together, to have those conversations about, um, do you remember that day we went to the seaside? Or do you remember that amazing party when you were 70? And it gives the family a chance to collectively add to um, to, to, a, to a kind of a, almost like a memory box that's, 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 that, that is the app. Whilst we were developing the app and working with the team here, I think we realised it, so, it was so obvious to us that we needed an in-house team to help us kind of move on in this direction. Um, and, so, and so at the same time that we developed the app, uh, the trustees of the, of the hospice gave us some money to develop a post to, 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 um, to employ a digital transformation manager. And we've done that. It was a brave leap for a, an organisation like ours. When we first thought we might, our little hospice might be working with the Health Innovation Campus, it felt like a, it felt like a strange partnership, if I'm really honest, because we are so far from the technical. We are about people and about care and about hands-on nursing and, and medical work. So it was a little bit of a, a challenging thought. The takeaway for me would be, give it a go. Because I, there was a point where I thought, oh gosh, we won't be able to answer the questions, we won't, we won't know what people are talking about. But the team here are really skilled in almost demystifying and, and, and really getting to understand and build a relationship with you so that your project comes to life. So that's been my big takeaway was, um, was not to be fearful and, um, and to be you know, confident with your ideas and confident that the partnership in you can be a really productive one. So glad we did it.